What's up guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we caught the legendary Pokemon Lugia. And in this episode we're just gonna I don't know what we're gonna do yet. You are quite a remarkable trainer for your age. Thank you. Can we is this a rock we can break? How do we get over there to those two items? I wanna get over there to those two items. But in this episode, I think actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the west of Cyanwood City. Oh, man, how do I get over there? I want those two items. Or we'll just use an escape rope and get out of here. I'll follow this way a little bit just to see where it goes. And we're probably outside. Alright, so we're outside. Yeah, today we're gonna head west out of Cyanwood City. Jeez. That Lugia did some damage to us. So let's fly to Cyanwood City and we're gonna head west and we're gonna see what's up with the Safari Zone that our great pal Baoba has been working on. And I remember giving him a Swedish accent in my first, or in my Fire Red Run, Fire Red Red Run Let's Play. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what that's going on. But first off, let's check to see what our Lugia is all about. Uh, just summary, por favor. Mild nature, proud of its power. Alright, so it's lower on defense and higher on special attack. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good nature port to have, and it's got pressure. Extrasensory, rain dance, hydro pump, and arrow blast. But like I said, I don't use legendaries on my team, but this is our Lugia. Awesome Pokemon. Awesome Pokemon. Wait, hold on. Wow. Wow. 5 PP for Aeroblast, 5 PP for Hydro Pump, 5 PP for Rain Dance, and 30 PP for Extrasensory. So yeah, this thing can pretty much run out of moves very quickly, especially if you have pressure on your Pokemon. Um, who do I have on my team? Alright, let's get rid of Poliswag, and let's get Dan back on the team. Alright, and like I said, we're going to head west. But we need to heal up. I am back from vacation, and let me just say, I have a headache. I don't know why I have a headache today. I didn't have one yesterday, but I have one today. So sorry about that. But yeah, back to uh, Beoba, because I'm pretty sure it's the same person from Fire Red. And I gave him a Swedish accent, but apparently he does not have a Swedish accent in this Let's Play, because I don't remember giving him a Swedish accent. Right. So, where do we gotta go? Oh, Repel's effect wore off. That's interesting. There we go. This is where we gotta go. So let's head in here. Throw up another Repel. Oh, I don't think we need one here. What you saying? Did you know there's a Safari Zone just around the corner? It's really fun. You will see many different kinds of Pokemon. And it's all you can catch. There's no reason not to go, right? Just another around the... Blah, 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 blah. It won't take too long. Well, why don't you drop by, won't you? What did she ask us? I don't remember what she asked us. All right, it's just over there. Go up the stairs, and you'll be, and you'll be outside. Then it's only a few paces away. Um, I don't think. Etho, what are you holding? Okay, it's on the XP share. That's good. I didn't know if Drogon had it or not, so glad that Etho has it. So we're just gonna head up this way. It's a very interesting area out here. It's also, I think one of the few areas that you can catch a ditto. So if you want to breed your Pokemon... Oh my god, this music! I'm using my new headphones as well, by the way, so I can hear both ears. This is an amazing song! He's scared of the cliff, but why? This music is so good! Let's move some people to the front here. Let's move... Uh, Anna's got too much. A Anna's already overpowered, so let's switch Dan to the front. We'll... Mm, maybe... maybe D-Rex. We'll switch D-Rex to the front for a while. But this music is so cool. I'm a huge fan of that music. Longing for others is... what is it? But... wait, what it is? But battles are battles, so let's go, let's go! Yeah, I did not realize how good the music here was. And he's got a Dunsparce. I believe Dunsparce is 
ground electric, so or ground water, so he might be really screwed if we use this magical I need to give him Frenzy Plant. How do I keep forgetting to give him Frenzy Plant? The best part about Frenzy Plant is that it's a special move, too. I forgot. I thought Frenzy Plant was a physical attack, but it is not. So let's go ahead and take out the rest of his Pokemon here. He's going to send out another Dunsparce, which... Man, if he has all Dunsparce, we're just going to run train on him because, well... D-Rex is much more powerful than it is, or has a, well, yeah, I guess it is, level 19 to level 33. And I guess it's water electric, since it's not giving me the it's super effective thing. Oh, well, let's just, let's just go ahead and take out this last one real quick, and we'll continue heading west. And then eventually head north. And then eventually we'll be at the Johto Safari Zone. Wahaha! Wahaha! I guess Mario, whatever. There's a lot of interesting items you can find out here as well, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head straight there if I can remember how to get there. There's an old guy here. I think you head straight, straight up. I didn't realize that you could run into Pokemon here, so let's hope we don't run into any Pokemon because I don't want to put up a repel. Had to open my mouth. Gosh, I hate that. Oh, here I believe we have a double battle, so let's get people at the front we want. Ah, I think we have the... Oh, apparently you have to talk to them to get that double battle initiated. Uh, but yeah, a lot of cool items you can find around here. This music is just so good. Uh, we're almost there. That didn't take very long at all. So let's see what we got here. We have a lagging tail. Lagging tail will make your Pokemon slower. But if you have items, an item switch move like um, swap, I don't know what it is actually. You could give it to the other Pokemon to slow them down. Uh, trick, that's what it is. Hey, we didn't have to battle those guys either. Really, is there only one required battle? I think so. I love, love, love this music. And here we are at the Safari Zone gate. A lot of interesting things you can do here. You can buy stuff from this chick, which I believe it's all, yeah, it, it's just Nest Ball, Quick Ball, and Dusk Ball. And I think we've gone over these before, how Nest Ball will work on weaker Pokemon in Wild, like, you know, if they're newborn or something like that. Like, for example, if they're like level 5, it's going to be very high probability that you'll catch them with a Nest Ball. Dusk Ball makes it easier to catch Pokemon in dark places like caves, and the Quick Ball is, yeah, it, it says right there if you use it at the start of the battle, it'll work better, so not really that useful. What about, uh, what about you guys? We'll, we'll talk to these guys, see what they got going on. I know one of these sells berries, I think. I've decided to carry Pokemon drinks. This will be new to me, but I will do my best. Welcome, what do you need? Um, oh, wow, so here's where you get the vitamins at. Very, very expensive, but very helpful. They will raise a stat permanently for a Pokemon. We've been over those a few times. I probably, I mean, I might use them eventually. I have a few in my inventory. Music here's pretty good, too. Safari, Safari, it's so much fun. Safari, Safari. So interesting, huh? So many Pokemon are waiting for us. That's a song I made up. I sing it when I'm in the Safari Zone. Alright, so he was useless, or she. Can't tell because of the awning over his or her head. I'm not a talker. Alright, well let's head into the Safari Zone and see what's going on here. Oh, it's Beoba. I've been waiting for you. What do you think? This is a brand new Safari Zone, by the way. I just had an idea. Would you like to take the owner aptitude test? Sure. Right on. Let me explain how the test works. It's very easy. All you have to do is catch one Geodude in Safari and show it to me. They are in the grass closest to the entrance. It shouldn't take long before you catch one. Good luck. All right, so let's go in and catch a Geodude. I guess we have to talk to this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will pay $500. So I guess he didn't up his prices because it was $500 back in Kanto. And we get 30 Safari Balls. We have 30 attempts to catch a Geodude. 
and bring it back to him so we can pass the test. Alright, so he said the grass closest to the gate, and that's where we are now, is it a Geodude? It is a Geodude. It's female, so whatevs. Whatevsies. Uh, you have a few items you can he do here. You can throw bait, which will make it come a little bit closer, but harder to catch. You have mud, which will make it, uh, well, will cause it, alright, I didn't say, blah, 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 blah. let me restart here. You have bait, which will make it less likely to run away, but it will make it harder to catch. And over here you have mud, which does the exact opposite. It'll make it easier to catch, but more likely to run away. Then you can run away yourself, or, lastly, you can just throw, you can just throw a safari ball at it. Aw, oh, thought we had it there. So yeah, uh, and it, they will occasionally just run away regardless of what you do. So let's keep running around here until we can get a Geodude. I might cut away. If I don't catch it within the first few. So yeah. Come on, I like the, I like the camouflage safari balls. And it looks like we caught it. Alright, so let's head back out and talk to Bayaba with our Geodude. Hopefully I don't have to have it in my inventory. Because that would be stupid. Probably do, though. Alright, rock and ground. We've seen Geodude before. Give a nickname to him? No, thank you. Alright, so let's head out of here. And go talk to Bayaba. Music here is good, too. All the music in this episode has been great so far. Uh, yes, we'll leave the Safari Zone. We'll go talk to Bayaba. We have the Geodude. Vance just wants us. Who's Vance? I don't remember Vance. Show me the Geodude once you've caught one. They're in the grass, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I do have to put it in my inventory. Oh, still under development. Uh, is there a computer here that I could use? You're kidding me. I'm going to have to go get it and then bring it back to him? Lame. Alright, so let's go get our Geodude and take it to him. And then I believe that still under development thing will be no longer under development. At least I think that's what this aptitude test is for. Uh, so we'll move Pokemon. We'll move Geodude. Well, I need to see my party Pokemon, please. We'll move him in the way of Ramsey. Poor Ramsey. Ramsey. Ramsey hasn't seen much action since he evolved, which is a stroke of pure miracle that that actually worked as well as it did. So I think we have to put Geodude at the front of our party as well, so we'll do that when we get inside, so there's less lag. There's only like 13 or 11 people here. I know it's a lower odd number above 10. Whoops, that's a bag. I need to go to Pokemon. So we'll switch Geodude here. Hello. Oh wonderful, you've caught a Geodude. You've passed the first test. Huh? Did I tell you that there are two tests? That's right, becoming an owner is not that easy. The second test is... Well, I'm still preparing for it. I will let you know once it's ready. You just need to... You just... You need to wait just a little. I will call you with the Pokegear. Alright, so apparently the second test is not automatically opened, which is stupid. Uh, we'll hold Geodude for a while. What, what is our Geodude got? You, you already see what he's got, so... Naive nature, blah blah blah. Whoops. Need to go this way. Sturdy. Eh, that's decent, I guess. And it knows a decent amount of moves. Magnitude's an interesting one. It will... The user loses loses a ground-shaking quake affecting everyone in battle. Its power varies. Oh, okay. So, uh, let's, um... Let's, I guess, fly back to... some other city. We'll fly back to... Hmm, where do we want to go? But we have this open now, so we can just fly back to Johto Safari Zone. Let's head to... Let's head to the Lake of Rage. We'll fly to the Lake of Rage and see what's going on up there. I don't think much. There's a few items you can get up there that I haven't gotten, but that's pretty much... That can be pretty much said for a lot of areas here. Oh, the music is so good! So good! Um... I believe a lot of these are trainers that I've already battled. 
and it seems to be flooded. So let's get Anna to the front here and put up a repel and see if we can pick up a few items. Um, super repel. Perfect. I don't know why I went to Pokemon just now. Alright, so let's get on Anna and see if we can surf around for some items. I don't think you can get to these without it being flooded, so guess we'll find out. Um, here we have an item up here. And it's Choice Specs. Very, very good item. I usually use this on my Alakazam because it's a sweeper. Choice Specs will increase the power of attacks maybe double, but you can only use one attack in battle, so it's kind of like the Choice Scarf, but a little bit different. So I usually use it on my Alakazam, and his Psychic just becomes a beast. And it's it's fine, because who's going to use any move other than Psychic on an Alakazam? I mean, honestly, who throws a shoe? So I'll pick up a few more of these items. Red Flutes, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's actually look to see what the Red Flute does. I don't want to be wrong on this. I think it increases the amount of... Um, where is it? Is it in key items? There's no way it's in key items. Okay, so... Where's Red Flute? Do we already have, did we already have a Red Flute somewhere? Well, I'm not seeing Red Flute anywhere. Is it in berries? Alright, well, that's weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure Red Flute will either increase or decrease the amount of wild Pokemon you run into. I think it's decreased because White Flute increases. But I could be wrong, and I couldn't find it in my inventory to tell you otherwise. And now we have like this little maze area that we're going through. And I believe there's a house afterwards, so... Going through this maze area is a little helpful. Alright, let's stop another repel. gonna run out of things to do in this episode. Well, not run out of things, but I don't know how to trigger Beoba to call you for the next task. I also don't know if I'm going the right way. I don't think I am. Uh, damn. Alright, so let's head back out and go through. I know I'm just narrating what I'm doing, which is bad. I could be talking about how awesome new music is, or how how much of a slowdown this this foreground rain is causing, but I don't want to do that. Alright, let's grab this item before we head to the house. Ooh! Secret Power is a very interesting move. Secret Power has different effects depending on where you're at, and also you can open up secret passageways with it. Let's actually go see what it what the legitimate thing it says is. Oh, there it was. An attack move with effects that vary depending on the user's environment. Okay, so it's got a pretty decent attack, too. Uh, yeah. So let's head over to the house now. I probably won't be teaching secret power to anyone. I don't know if bases are actually in this game. I know that they're in other generation games, but I'm not sure if they're actually in this one. Hey, wow, perfect time for a repel to wear, out, wear off. What do you got to say? You have strayed far. Here I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this child. And we get TM10, which... What is it? Do you see it? It's hidden power. It draws the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this. Its type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. Okay, so hidden power can be any type except for normal type. So it could be ice type, water type, grass type, you name it. It could be all the types except for normal, and it depends on the Pokemon's stats or something. It's a ridiculous mathematical equation for how to determine what it is. Let's see what the actual thing is. So we got secret power and hidden power. A lot of powers up here. Where is hidden power? Oh, it was TM10, so I've already passed it. A variable move that changes type and power depending on its hidden ability, on the hidden ability of the Pokemon using it. So pretty interesting attack and we're about at 20 minutes now so i think i'm going to call the episode here thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time